my name is Rob Barrett, and you're watching Cooking for Dads. Okay, we are at my friend, the Shell's open house for their daughter, Sarah. The graduate, woo! Her big day. She's graduating, and we are gonna make chicken for over 100 people, and we're gonna do some easy tips. Really, this is gonna be a sesame ginger chicken, and we're gonna use Lighthouse sesame ginger salad dressing for our marinade. We've got a big bag of chicken tenderloins. They're great because they cook up really fast and they marinate really well. Most of these I did the night before, but we're gonna do one here right before the party so you can see how it's done. It's kind of a crazy cooking time, so you'll have to kind of, we have to take some pauses while things get caught up. This stuff, it just works really well. This is only gonna sit for like probably two or three hours, but it's still it's gonna have a lot of flavor. We are gonna pour it in. Pour that right over the meat. Now to stretch it, I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. It'll help get the rest of the dressing out and also it'll um, cover more of the chicken. Pardon me. There we go, just gonna pour that right in. Now we're gonna seal up this bag, these Purdue bags, you get them at Costco. They're great because you can seal them up. Come here. This is Jeff Shell, the proud father. He was actually the inspiration for Cooking for, for Dads. Dad. That's, That's right. Because right. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna seal this up. We're just gonna stir it around. Make sure you get that sealed. Get that chicken and that marinade mixed up. Now we're gonna squeeze out all the air. Put that in the fridge overnight. Or in this case, two or three hours. If your chicken isn't thawed, open it up, run a little water over it, cold water, swirl it around, dump it out. It doesn't thaw it all the way, but it gets it started and gets that outer layer softened. If you do this the night before, keep it in the fridge and uh, it'll, it'll thaw the rest of the way. Don't worry about it. Another thing you can do with this is put them in a bag. Take those same chicken tenders, put them in a bag. Now people are coming. Add a little dressing like we did, lay them flat, freeze it, and pull them out all year long. It's really good, but that way you have pre-marinated chicken ready whenever you want it. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna start cooking some of this up before the guests start arriving so the food is nice and hot. Remember with your grill, especially with this kind of a chicken, you want it as clean as possible. So you're gonna scrub it, wipe it, give it a little olive oil, just so the chicken doesn't stick. Gonna let our grill warm up to around 400 degrees, 300 degrees. Um, these cook like two minutes a side, so they're really fast. Nice and hot. Let's just lay these out, remember about a minute or two a side, that is all they're gonna need. They cook really fast. And you do wanna hit them with salt and pepper. Marinade will help that stick real well. Okay, two minutes are up. We're gonna flip them over. Just use a fork if you want. Shouldn't stick with that nice olive oil on there. Hit them with salt and pepper again when you flip them over. Another two minutes. We followed your formula for a valent, special Valentine's. That's right. Tom and I helped. Uh, oh, that's we right. Did, we yeah. did it here. It, it was fun. Yeah. It was really a lot of fun. And the nice we didn't thing. We did cook it quite as fast as you would have because we just, uh, just me. What I got you, in the way. What did you make? I can't remember. We had the uh, chicken with the. Uh, cheesy chicken. Cheesy chicken. Cheesy chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Potatoes. Yeah. And yeah. In the Episode number one. Right. Oh. 
but it was what was really fun was just getting involved in doing the stuff. Yeah. You know, and actually having a plan and understanding it and how it was gonna go and everything else. And it was just like if you're like building a wall, you know, it's like okay, I got my studs and my sill and I was you stud. know. You're the stud. Oh, he yeah. was. So the question I get asked the most often is how do you know when it's done? And chicken is tough because you do want it cooked all the way through, but if you cook it too long it gets really dry. We've all had that chicken before. These are great because they cook pretty consistently, around two minutes a side. But you need to learn the firmness test. Here's the firmness test. Touch your thumb and your pointer finger together. Push this part. That's what meat feels like when it's rare. Then do your middle finger. That's how meat should, that's how squishy meat should be when it's medium rare. Next ring finger is medium. And then well done. So you can tell that with chicken. Like I just flip, flip these over, so I'm going to push on that, see how squishy that is? That feels just like this, so that's rare, I just flipped it. When it gets to um, me, about that consistency, you'll feel it nice and firm, it's done. So you know the squish test? Yeah, the squish test, do you do it on the... Right here? Do you do it here or do you do it here? I, I don't do this one, that's, okay. a lot of people do it, I do this. Okay. So that's, the, that's, the, that's for well done, yeah. for chicken. Yeah. Let's see, what do you think? Give that a push. That's getting about there. Yeah, almost. I think that's ready. This one, that one's done. I did wash my hands too. Yes. So I'm okay. Very important. Yeah. That's how you tell. I'm going to plate them up. These are the perfect size for a sandwich. One or two on a little bun, and you are good to go. One or two on a bun for eating fun. <laughs> the jingle, the jingle meister right behind me. We're ready to go. Oh, yeah. Whoops. When the funny thing is when they named her, because my name is, I was always called K. For toppings, we're going to use two of the uh, their other dressings, the ranch dressing and the peanut, Thai peanut dressing, both really good. This is like in lieu of ketchup or mustard for the sandwiches. People can use that too, um, but this is, is gives it a gives it a whole new kind of flavor for these chicken sandwiches. Got a lighthouse? This is uh, not, a, not endorsed by Cooking for Dads. Mm, that's good. <laughs> Over the top. Get you some. Well, check these out. Yeah. These are brownies on a, on stick. a stick. Isn't yeah. that the best? Isn't that Ooh, I thought I smelled something. Yeah, I hope it smells good. Yeah. We're going to eat it here. Minnesota, we put everything on a stick. Brownies on a stick. You gotta like that. This is the best chicken I've ever had. You haven't had a bite yet, but you're just you're in by faith. You know? Yeah, this is, I, I can't really say how many I've had. Okay. Because I've, I've broken most every rule. <laughs> but this is fabulous. And when I saw Lighthouse here, I knew it was the best. Very good. <laughs> all right, now we do it all again. A hundred people are coming. Make sure you wash your hands every time after you touch the raw chicken. Anyways, I'm Rob Barrett. You're watching Cooking for Dads. Cook well. It's worth it. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm.